What's poppin' y'all? I am hype to show off yet another awesome custom regional form for my ROM hack, Pokemon Sweltering Sun. But before I get into literally anything having to do with this awesome Torkoal you see on your screen, um, I do want to have a couple of disclaimers. Uh, first off, timestamps, link down below. You can check out different sections of the video. First section is going to be intro. Second section is going to be uh, the in-game showcase. I'll show you guys, you know, what they you know, look like and all the angles and give you my thought process for why I made them this way and all that stuff um, regarding the actual like form. Um, the second half of the video, the longest part, will be uh, me going into detail about how the Pokemon actually functions within the ROM hack itself in terms of like typing, stats, ability, move pool, you know, the different roles it can fulfill, uh, the way it works basically. And that'll be and all the cool buffs and changes and all the moves it gets. All that stuff will be the later half of the video, and that'll be really fun. So uh, make sure you check that out as well. Uh, if you don't know what Pokemon Sweltering Sun is, make sure you check the link down below in the description. There is a video explaining that more in detail, better than I could in this short of a video. Um, and then there is also, uh, you know, you can check out my streams. Uh, I have. Uh, tons of streams uh, where I play the game myself. You can check those out, see how the game plays. Um, and then there is also uh, a link to the Google Sheet down below in the description. You can check out all the changes for yourself. And most importantly, the download link is in the description. Uh, if you join a Discord server, you can download and play the game yourself. So with that all out of the way, uh, I'm very excited to show off this Fire Poison Torkoal, Alolan Torkoal. Um, Initially, so I'm gonna give you my thought process for why I made him look this way. Uh, initially, I wanted him to be fire watered because that's like a more quote unquote unique typing. But first of all, only fire poison in sweltering is Salazzle. Only fire water is is, is um what's it called? Uh, Volcanion. And if he was fire water, him keeping drought like he would keep drought, but it would be kind of stinky because like one of his two abilities weakens his stab, which is kind of cringe. Um, and then I realized like so I, initially I was kind of upset. I'm like, damn. I can't make him fire water. The reason I couldn't make him fire water is because this stupid smoke texture you see behind you. If you don't believe me, you can literally do this yourself with Citra. You can dump the game files and, and you know scour the game files and try to find the texture for this smoke. You can you can change the appearance, but you cannot change the color. It is not possible. I, I confirmed it. I literally checked every single file. Like it, it is not possible to change the color of the smoke. So I can't make it purple tinted as cool as that would be. It would, it, it would definitely sell it a lot more. It doesn't bother me that much because uh, Weezing, for example, has a similar smoke color and he's already poison type. So I think the smoke fits fine being the color that it is. Um, but the actual color of Torkoal himself changed quite a bit. And he's got these really cool poison ooze uh, dripping from his body. Uh, if you read the Pokedex entries in my Discord server, you'll find out it's actually sweat. Um, he sweats poisonous toxins. I, I have I wrote a whole thing about like the volcanic, you know, uh, area. Like it has, you know, it's the volcanic fumes are like toxic. It's got like sulfur. He smells really bad. All that fun stuff. You can read all that cool flavor stuff in the descri in the description if you join my Discord server. I can probably put the dex entries in the disc in the description, but I'm kind of lazy, you know. Also, I gotta plug a Discord, so you know, go check out the Discord if you're curious on the entries. Um, they're pretty cool. He's a stinky guy. He's a stinky guy, right? He's stinky. He smells, but I love him. He's awesome. Um, I love Torkoal, man. I love this buff for him. It's such a good typing. I can't even get into that later. It's such a good defensive typing, though. I'll get into that later on. But yeah, I gave him these poisonous like beads and like the patterns. Uh, and then, of course, his color shifted. Um, the inside went from red to orange hue. His shell is dark purple. His body is more of a pinkish tint instead of red or orange. It's like a pinkish poisony orange he's got that glowing mouth because his internal is kind of glowing and then uh yeah he's got that cool sludge pattern on his head and his legs and his neck um it's pretty simple but i really like how it turned out the shiny is extremely boring but uh i wanted it to still look poison type uh sadly another thing that you cannot change so the shiny shares those hexagonal like those hexagon shapes the shiny shares those textures with the base form so whatever the color is on the base form it has to be the same color on the shiny so I couldn't change it to a cooler color for the shiny. So shiny ends up looking kind of underwhelming. It's barely any different, but it shifted from like pink to purple, you know, and the smoke. Uh, the, so basically body becomes pink, pinkish purple. And then the actual sludge or slime becomes, or, you know, sweat becomes, uh, becomes uh, like darker purple. So it's, it's not a terrible shiny, but it's not like the most, you know, there's a lot of cooler ones uh, for these regionals. Um, not that I care that much about shinies at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, this guy's an absolute goat. That's pretty much it for the concept behind him. Uh, that's why I ended up making him poison, and I ended up being really happy. I'm actually really glad I made him poison. It's a lot cooler than Firewater, in my opinion. It's a lot 
quote unquote better defensively. Not that firewater is firewater is also good defensively, but fire poison men. I'll get into it in just a second. Beautiful typing. I love this one. I would I would love to use it one day in one of my runs. Uh, yeah. With that being said, I think that's pretty much it for the concept. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I need to cover. I mean, I just I gave him markings. I also kind of like how they look like tribal markings a little bit, because um, you know Lola's got that tribal vibe. But mostly he's just like got this nasty poison sweat. He's just like a gross guy. I, I love I love poison types. Poison is my favorite type in the game. Um, but yeah, this is a great buff for him, and I'll get into why in a second. Um, Torkoal was already great. I mean, it's well doing so. He already had good great stats, great abilities, all that stuff. Uh, but he's even better now. So. I will open that up now. Um, let me zoom in a bit. Actually, that's not going to work. I'll just crop it, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, so basically, my man is, is stacked, all right? So incredibly bulky, right? Uh, Black Sludge. First thing I need to mention, Black Sludge in this ROM hack gives essentially double leftovers. Uh, it makes every single poison type, even frail ones, very good defensively. Um, it helps keep up with all the crazy offensive stuff, you know, that you're going to be fighting. I mean, there's so many, a million different ways to beat it, but this is just another nice defensive tool that you get, um, is buffs Black Sludge. I'm biased. Poison is my favorite type alongside Bug, so I gave those extra buffs, but every Pokemon is great in this game. Um, but yeah. Defensive poison type, incredible. Poison is a great defensive typing. Fire also has a lot of resistances. I'm not going to show the fire poison type chart on the screen because I don't want to dox myself. I didn't have it ready beforehand. Um, I don't want to type in like Solazul DB and then um, shit pops up. I don't want to have to redo the whole recording. But you can look it up yourself. Solazul has like incredible resists and Solazul's frail. All right, it's a frail Pokemon. Um, Torkoal is very bulky. He has that double black sludge, and he has even more uh, incredible defensive tools. So as you can see on screen, that noxious gas move, which I'll get into later, is like very, very good for later on in the game. Um, offensively, he's also very strong. I, I don't want to undersell that. Like Drought, 100 base special attack is really strong. You get access to buffed Quick Claw, um, which you can easily just... Did I show every angle of this one? I did, yeah. You get access to buffed Quick Claw, um, and you can... Um, oh, let me minimize this so you can see the... Yeah, that's better. Now y'all can see the like, comment, subscribe on top. All right. Anyways, um, um, yeah, quick claw drought, very, very powerful. You know, you got quick claw burn up, quick claw uh, overheat, quick claw buzzword, all that fun stuff. You can run assault vest for some fights. Specs ignite, ignite being fire type priority, um, very, very nice. Um, and then of course, defensive utility wise, Torko goes crazy. So you got that morning sun, um, if you want that reliable healing, but also just baneful bunker plus black sludge heals him by a lot. Uh, so you actually often don't need to run that. Uh, morning sun it depends on how you want to build them but yeah um, he's got other great utility like mystical fire and of course that uh, noxious gas later on is incredible uh, noxious gas man it it is it, only wheezing gets it and skuntank gets it and now torco gets it um skuntank has prankster with it so he's even like he's really good with it um it's gonna take such a fun one but yeah wheezing is just ridiculous like very bulky outright torco i is actually bulkier technically but obviously uh wheezing has that fire immunity and that ground immunity while torco doesn't have either of those um so it's not like he's outclassed or anything but um yeah absolutely very fun one man fire poison great defensive typing uh something else that's really really good in this game is shell armor um there are tons of guaranteed crit moves in this game um the ai will be using them pretty often because it you know it, it like especially a game like a counter is like a lot of intimidate spam debuff spam it's not loading right now, but like for example, Guzma, like first impression always crits. All the all the pretty much all these moves, or not all of them, but like pursuit always crits, cross chop crits with the scope lens, nice light. Like all these moves crit, right? Most of these moves. So shell armor completely nullifies that. Um, not to mention all of these ones have ruthless, which is a replacement for sniper. So it takes the damage. Like for example, Glycopod Jagged Edge goes from like dealing a shitload to like nothing even though you're weak to it because you have such good physical i mean not nothing i'm exaggerating but it takes significantly less because it goes from 180 base power with ruthless and the crit to only 80 base power um it's a really really nice ability to have in this game it's really really good man uh defensively um not to mention with noxious gas you can't be crit so not only do you drop attack special attack and speed and poison you also can't be crit and you get the black sludge so it's just such it's just so nice it's so nice um obviously that four times grabbing is still there but like man weaknesses don't matter in rom hacks all you have to do is just pivot around on the ai if you have any decent ground type answer you can just switch out and and use that and you're fine and then you can switch back in like it's not that deep um it's not like you're fighting a real human being you know it's it's ai you can 
outmaneuver your weaknesses pretty easily. Resistances, however, are a lot more important because you're going to be getting, you're going to be doing so much pivoting and switching around and stuff. Uh, having those resistances is very valuable. Um, you also got other great utility like Scum Shot, which um, essentially guarantees a toxic poison and its priority, and it always flinches like Fake Out. And you can uh, you can use it whenever you want. The downside, obviously, is that it only has one PP, so it's a move that you have to be careful with when you use it. But it's still a very a very good move to have for utility. You get out right, you know, you get straight up toxic for earlier on. Um, you can be very stally. You know, you got T spikes, mystical fire, shell armor is really nice. Uh, it's like a baby noxious gas. You know, it drops attack and special attack with mystical fire. So that plus shell armor plus morning sun or whatever is really nice with black sludge. This mod is just so good. You can toxic solve so many mons because of that shell armor. You don't have to risk crit. So it's it's really good for nuzzle locking and just to have in general. Again, offensively, do not do not like this mon is still very good offensively. Uh, for certain boss fights, you can switch it in with a deck button or just switch it in because of its great bulk and resistances. And you can just click a, a quick claw, you know, solo beam, quick claw, you know, drought boosted fire move, whatever, poison move, round move, whatever you want to click to kill whatever's in front of you or at least deal a lot of damage to it. Um, yeah, very, very versatile, very, very fun. Uh, I think I've covered pretty much all bases. I mean, I could go a little bit more in depth, but I don't think it's that. I think I can. Pretty much, you know, you guys can figure out the rest if you want to check out all the move changes down below in the description. Um, you know, like Stockpile is really nice with uh, Shell Armor as well because you can't be crit through your defense boosts. Withdraw is earlier on in the game. Withdraw is the same thing as Stockpile, but you can use it. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, I think the Z move might be different. That's really about it. Um, yeah, uh, thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you coming out this far into the video. Comment down below, Noxious Gas, if you listen this far in. And uh, I'll be back for, I think this is the second to last video I need to record, so. Peace.